Kia ora viewers, welcome to April 2015 Earth Predictions video. Thanks for tuning in and watching wherever you are around the world and wishing you all a safe and happy April. You will have, if you've been following the series, you will have known I've talked a little bit before about the fact that we are in the period of two eclipses, one lunar and one solar. One was the 20th of March and one is the 4th of April. And these all have quite profound effects on us and the planet and the energies that surround it. So it doesn't surprise me that we see this card here, the moon, and it, um, with a sort of, it's a full moon but with a shadow cast across it almost as if an eclipse is occurring. So I think the eclipse will be quite significant and some of the events that will emanate from it. Now whether or not these are physiological events, psychological or sociological is um, a point that will only come out once the month moves on. So if we come to the beginning, I had already shuffled these cards and dealt them a couple of days ago and I haven't had time to upload the video until now. But So I haven't shuffled them in front of you, but these were the cards that arrived in this order from 1 through to 5 and the card that was on the bottom, which I've laid across the top of the reading here. So if we start with the wheel, we know that in the past I've often talked about the fact that it refers to me or... Um, the feeling I get from it is cyclic paths in life, so cycles of life or cycles of evolution or planetary cycles. And again, we refer to the fact that we're in quite a big planetary lineup still and we have this um, eclipse pattern going on. Uh, there's definitely feeling of the heavens, the stars and the planetary bodies and celestial events that will be shaping our month ahead and I think a lot of this does come through human emotions and activities that take place. The other thing we see with the wheel is this huge rushing water and in March for instance there was a massive flood in Chile in um, a part of Chile and I think they had seven years worth of rain in 12 hours so it's astro uh, phenomenal amounts of water such as that that just wreak havoc, havoc on our planet and they come down in such quick ways and they're really fast flowing and they can have an effect on crops as well because this, these look a bit like crops in the front. And the other thing I refer to sometimes with the wheel is um, engines or big engines and we talk about planes, trains, ships, boats, anything that has big kind of turbines or wheels or something in them, there can be problems around these. We certainly had more than our share of them in March, so I'm hoping for no more air problems or aeroplane problems. I'm at least pleased that the father card hasn't arrived in this reading because I often associate him with things falling from the sky. This is kind of, yeah. Anyhow, we'll move on to the next card, the mother card. Immediately one would think of Mother Earth, Gaia, our own planet. So, uh, say, other than that, I'm not entirely sure what the energies are around the fact that there's something about our planet that overall in the month of April. Mothers, of course, are the unity of families, so there could be something here about the uniting of families. There could be something about female energies in particular, or... Um, female cycles. For a lot of the women watching there could be some um, change taking place in the month of April and this can of course be again linked into the lunar eclipses and the solar eclipses. They can very much affect our hormonal cycles. There could be a new mother on the planet, um, a, a well-known mother to be and I'm thinking here of course of the um, princess of England, Catherine, she is due to have a baby, I think, in April. Uh, feminine rights I've talked about, also issues to do with children and children involved in families. And sometimes, unfortunately, this can be sadness around this card. So if we move on to the cave, we see here, 
a little bit hard to see, but there is a person in the shadows of this cave really hunkered down. And I do think of the word hunkering down, and oftentimes when this card turns up, it's from storms. And it's like somebody just in their house literally going, oh, go away, the noise, you know, that the noise of a surging storm and the ferocity and the fierceness of it. So, yeah, hiding from storms, being stuck in or underground again, underground issues, which can be volcanic. We've got over 40 active volcanoes on the planet at the moment, all showing quite turbulent signs of activity. So this can be linked to those pathways underneath volcanoes, and that's the vent and up and out. So the cave kind of has um, planet feelings about it. So weather related issues and volcanic related issues. The prison. Both the prison and the wheel were in last month's readings, so they're quite potent cards. We talk about prisons, literally. We talk about being stuck underground again, and these two cards being right next to each other, I feel, have some sort of connection. So there's almost a double potency or a double whammy signification of being stuck somewhere, like locked in because you can't get out um, because of this weather system or something that's fallen on top of something like you're stuck in a building or underground tunnels or mine shafts something along those lines then we look at the sun coming into the projection of the sunlight and i've talked before if you uh, don't follow suspicious observers channel i highly recommend that you do he's brilliant about um, encapsulating the scientific perspectives of how the sun and solar system affect us as part of the galaxy which is pretty much logical to me but the sun is a great um, bearer of the energies that affect us on earth particularly storms and quake related activity and volcanic related activity so there could be some significant solar flares or CMEs or eruptions of some sort or something unusual that we really take heed of on the sun in the month of April. We come to the moon, pretty much the same message again, it's about planets, things in, this, in space, so space issues, technological space issues or new information that comes to light, that they're learning from um, exploration, something new being launched up into space or uh, new sightings, events, celestial bodies. We also see the sea, so I think of um, events to do with our oceans, and it can be movement of water. And in fact, on today, which happens to be the 30th of March, there has been a quite significant earthquake in Papua New Guinea with a tsunami warning. And this card can often be the, uh, the feeling of tsunami activity. And it can also indicate activity of some sort around the Tropic of Cancer and also even the Tropic of Capricorn. So those are some of the messages of that card. And the Liberation, which was at the bottom of the overall deck, when it's come out before, I can't help but think of Australia because of the snake. And um, I always think of Aussie as having so many brown snakes everywhere. So I think of energies around Australia and people fleeing for one reason or another and water. So whether or not Australia is in for some sort of storms or, you know, quick rushing water. In fact, one time when this card turned up, they had the terrible Toowoomba in, inland tsunami situation. So that's sometimes what I think of when this card liberation is here. Also, there's another door and we have been you know, locked behind two barricades or two doors. So somehow these thick wooden doors are playing a part in, in our being behind them, such as in the cave and the prison. So there we are, guys. That's April's reading. I do think it's a very busy period on the Earth and celestially at the moment. There's lots of energies going on. You can't hide from them and they they do occur, these events, that, that form history, they're part of us, they're part of who we are, 
and how they shape the planet and how we move forward. So it's just an interesting series of readings that I do and um, I'm pleased you all join along and listen and I love all your comments and input. So please enjoy doing that and leave your comments and all your suggestions and your thoughts and energies about the cards and how you feel about them as well. So guys, take care and have a good, healthy, safe April. Kia kaha.